stop panicking, we're going to fix your audio in a few simple steps. It's happened to all of us. Either we've forgotten to press record on the recorder that we're using to capture our audio, we've forgotten to plug the microphone into the top of our camera, leaving us with the inbuilt microphone, the weather's just been absolutely horrific and you can't understand what's being said, or maybe you're filming in a factory and there's loads of background noise and your audio's just useless. Losing your audio can be a filmmaker's worst nightmare. And believe me, I know that absolute gut-wrenching feeling when you realize that your audio is no good. But fear not because in today's video, I'm gonna show you a little known product made by Adobe, which is gonna solve 98% of your problems. And it might surprise you to know that I'm not actually recording the audio for this video on this microphone. We can put that up and out of the way. I'm actually recording this audio on my iPhone. Let's jump onto the computer and I'll show you how to do it. And believe me, it's really, really simple. Well, it couldn't be much simpler. So this whole system is in beta, Adobe Podcast Beta. They haven't quite finished it. They're basically using all of the recordings that we're uploading to try and make the product better. It already does a phenomenal job if you're at a pinch, but it does still need some work. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go to podcast.adobe.com and request access. Once you're here, you just need to fill out this form and press submit. You will need an Adobe account of some description, but I don't pay for my Adobe account anymore. I stopped using Premiere, I stopped using Photoshop and Lightroom, but it still allows me access to this. So as long as you've got an account, you should be able to get in. It should only take a minute or two until you can access this page, but once you can, all you need to do is upload your dodgy audio. I've got it here as a WAV, and it starts enhancing the speech. I've used this a lot of times in the past couple of weeks, and it really saved my bacon when I was filming a wedding. Essentially, I mic'd up the best man, but the mic slipped down into his shirt and ended up being roughly at his belly button. But there was enough information on the in-camera audio from Project Shasta, or what it's now called Adobe Podcast, to do its thing, and it really did save my bacon. There are a few caveats that I'd say um, when you're using the enhanced audio. Firstly, if you mix in a little bit of your original audio, it's gonna sound more natural. Project Shasta or Adobe Podcasts tries to remove all of that background noise, and I wish there was a, a slider where you could adjust how much it removed. And secondly, I have found that the audio does drift a little bit. So if you're syncing up the audio with your video, just make sure you're checking it every now and again, make sure it's still bang on point. I find it drifts by a couple of frames every now and again. So now you can just press download and you'll have a much better audio file. So there we have it, Project Shasta, the piece of software which is gonna absolutely help you out in those trickier situations. And I have to give a bit of credit to my friend Adam at Musing of a Man who told me about this software. He showed it to me and absolutely blew my mind. And like I said, it's not perfect. I went and did a load of filming in Iceland uh, two weeks ago filmed a load of interviews out in the rain, in the wind, in the snow, and it struggled. It did a much better job than the audio that I already had, but it did struggle. Let me know what you think of the software in the comment section below, and if I helped you out, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.